Hello everyone, this is Frank Rotz. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is a pretty important one and there isn't a whole heck of a lot of information on YouTube. I haven't done a video in a while and I have 300 plus subscribers since I posted a video last, which was a while ago. So I want to do something really important because it talks about getting paid. And this video is about how to get paid in the fishing industry and sponsors. So for all the new subscribers, thank you. If you've been watching the channel, before you haven't seen me post videos or you haven't seen me reply to your videos, it's because I've been very busy. For me now, winding down in July, this ends the busiest season I have selling fishing tackle, doing a crazy amount of work doing that. Um, also stuff like this, writing fiction. Um, I just finished a novel and I'm starting another one and my editor is editing the novel, get that published, make more money to spend more time on the water. Also, I've been busy writing fishing articles as well. Um, this is for July 2018. Um, my first bluegill fishing article was ever published, Midwest Outdoors, on stitching. Um, had a pretty good day with that. That was actually what the last video was on. So, and of course, I didn't even mention this before, it's been so long, in June, I got my first bass stitching article published in Midwest Outdoors for June, and it even has the technique and all the photos I had. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, lots of stuff to talk about for you pertaining getting paid in this business. So first of all, you, you're going to need to decide what your goals are. Um, is it going to be more business or is it going to be more pleasure? Um, because we all know you, you need more than making money on ads for YouTube. Those can be separate videos you can see elsewhere. What I'm going to talk about is what I've done and what you can do. So I've sold fishing tackle for over 18 years. I've been doing seminars for over 10 and I've been writing for about a year and a half. And I can de definitely testify to you that for those anglers that, for people I've met that have started channels or who are pro anglers, um, the burnout rate is usually about 90 to 100 in about three years. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Basically, it's, it isn't easy to get sponsors um, either on YouTube or professionally and so forth. Um, and not only that, you're investing a lot of money during those three years. I've seen channels where have spent a lot more time. You folks have spent, most of you probably spend more time editing your videos than I do and so forth and maybe using some higher dollar camera options than kind of what I have. Um, so the big question is, what do sponsors pay? Because for some reason, a lot of fishermen, they like to tell you they're sponsored and you think it's a big thing. Wow, it seems like there's this brick wall. Well, basically, if someone's sponsored, usually you may get one within three years. But here's the deal. Sponsorships does not equal paycheck, nor does that equate to a payday. What a sponsorship means is you advertise those lures and they give you them for free. Um, there may be some money involved in the future and then more money and more sponsors if you're really good. But if you break that down versus the hours that you work to get sponsors and what you're paid, guarantee you it's going to be less than minimum wage. Okay, So less than minimum wage for all that work. If you doubt me, go talk to a fishing guide or... Um, you know, your local pros and find out how much time they've actually put in where they're at. The best fishermen that I know are all supplementing their income some other way. Whether they're a fishing guide or whether they're working a nine to five or whether they're putting more than a nine to five than I am. So just bear that in mind. A perfect example is as you know, if you've watched my channel, everyone knows I like In Fisherman, right? Because it's pretty much the bar standard. Let's talk about the founder of In Fisherman magazine and television, Al Linder. He's the best, without question, freshwater angler that has ever lived. In order for Al Linder to get his start, he had to fish, obviously, guide, write, start In Fisherman magazine and TV, start a tackle company, get endorsements. He had to do all those things relatively within the same time to be where he is. So my advice is if you're just doing one or two things, if you just have a channel or if you're just doing tournaments, you really have to cross over and do a lot of things. And I did some research on, on this video from uh, Lake Fort Guy and he pretty much, right, he has a 
much higher following than I do. I'm not trying to get that high of a following, but he's talking about doing other things and crossing over other things to make money. It would be really fictitious for me to tell you that you know you can make money solely off a channel because that's pretty hard to do. And I guess the modern day equivalent today would be like for YouTube, right? Like the Guggen Squad, but they all collaborate and that's what they're doing professionally. How much money are they making? They're making more money selling the rods and the t-shirts than they are the sponsorships, more than likely. Um, so th that's kind of how that works. Um, and, and getting sponsors is, is not easy because you are at, essentially, the tackle manufacturers change direction once every one to three years, depending on what's hot and what's not. So for example, a lure that's been hot has been the Larry Dahlberg Whopper Plopper, right? Everyone loves it. Everyone's tried it, it seems like, but me. Well, again, that's a success story. Most lures get thrown in the hot and then not been within one to three years. Um, I remember when the Live Target bait ball came out. I was walking the aisles at work. and every third aisle, someone's hit me a bait ball, bait ball. They're going crazy for it, or like that Live Target sunfish. Well, guess what? It, if you get a sponsor from that, and you've got that sponsor and the manufacturer changes direction, which they're probably going to, guess what? Then you have to try a new lure. And guess what? If you're trying new lures, that means you have to continue to fish. You're obligated to. And that lure may not work on your home body of water. You may have to start exploring other waters, trying different tactics or techniques and things like that. So getting sponsors is really a full-time job within itself and trying to make money. Um, and once you start... They're, what they're betting on a sponsor, they're not betting on you making money for them this year. They went, they're looking for somebody that can generate money the next year and the next year and the next year like that. So if you're thinking there's a cushion or some sort of an easy space where you're gonna get, we're gonna, you're gonna get more time um, to work on your craft, it, it's, not, it's not existent. You may have a little bit of that once you attain some money and so forth and you're not working your regular job as much, but you have to keep pushing and it is extremely hard. Um, I've never, kind of an irony, I've never gotten, maybe I should have put this as a disclaimer at the beginning, I've gotten promotions, but I've never gotten sponsorships. And there's a reason why I've never gotten sponsorships. I've simply never pursued one. And the reason why I've never pursued one is because this channel would be totally different. The thing with promotions is I've gotten thousands of dollars in free gear. Guess what? And I was never obligated to that tackle manufacturer to talk about it, to advertise it, to write about it. I'm not saying I would never take a promotion or seek one, but the point of the matter is, if you're not seeking promotions, you can be a little bit more objective in what you do, and you can have a little bit more freedom and leeway. Um, promotions are very hard to get. Um, they've kind of dwindled down in the industry. Sponsorships too, and another thing, um, if you're just new to fishing, it may seem like there's a million lures. The fishing tackle, industry is actually dwindling their selection not increasing it so 10 years ago let's say 2008 that was the industry's heyday when there were brick and mortar stores and they were pumping the stores full of product um there were lots of sponsorships out there because there were a lot more lure options the industry is pretty tight-knit when you start getting to the top of the industry everyone kind of knows each other and so forth like that and fishing is a niche market i know that they talk about i don't know 32 billion dollars or something like that is is how much anglers spend a year on fishing stuff it seems quite lucrative however half of that stuff you don't really need a sponsorship to sell it's like hooks and sinkers and stringers so no you don't need sponsors for almost half of that so again it's it's just pretty tricky um and then if, if you're watching a channel, pros change sponsors, and it can seem confusing to try to learn how to do that. And that's just how the business works. We're better off for more sponsors and more choices, without question. I don't want to fish like I did 15 years ago. Um, however, this channel is about me being a writer, trying to help the average fisherman with the average amount of time to do the best that they can. So hopefully, those of you that have watched this, or if you just started watching that, I hope I'm hitting the mark despite all the outside work I'm doing. Um, so it boils down to choices, what you wanna do, business or pleasure. Um, so I'm probably not gonna be as fishing this much this year because I'm gonna try to get this book published and maybe another one, like I said, so I can get some more money, so I can have some more freedom in the future to do more fishing and make this channel something different. I'll put a couple videos maybe of special interest regarding that 
or something a little different direction if I'm not fishing but I want to start posting again obviously many people have subscribed and I do really appreciate that if you have not subscribed and this is something you may be interesting in interested in please consider it um, so if you have any questions about fishing um, the business um, how to get going doing something um, every local waterway has its own unique challenges and rewards kind of like how I grew up fishing Wolf Lake and urban area an urban lake a lot of people in the area kind of eh, it's kind of a question mark kind of polluted not so pretty um, was able to turn that into a you know use that basis of what I learned in a photo to get into in fisherman magazine so stuff like that you know it, it, it's all about how you put it together being original got to be persistent to make it happen but I've seen so many um, amazing channels I couldn't even begin to to start for shout outs and I probably should do a shout out video in the future too as well so thank you for watching there was a lot to pack in if you have any more questions on sponsors the business um, getting in um, or if you've had some success above and beyond what I have you know feel free to post some comments there um, and if you could share this with someone if they're just breaking in maybe it can give them a couple pointers on where they need to go so you know I've seen a lot of good things and everyone's been working hard on their channels um, a lot of new channels I've seen that are awesome so um, when the weather cools down I get more fishing time in more viewing time get this book published looking forward to checking your stuff out thank you so much everyone for taking the time to view the video I hoped it delivered what you were expecting. So take care. Thank you so much.